uh, we are talking about uh, cybersecurity efforts. And, and this is a really hot topic because most of the companies realize that they need to do some efforts to, to be in a good shape um, uh, in cybersecurity, but how to prioritize these efforts? Yeah, uh, priority is really important because you, you, on one hand, most of the time you cannot get everything done. And, and on the other hand, it doesn't make sense to get everything done. At the same time. You know, you run a business, you yeah. need to be profitable. If you spend too much on effort that's not going to be effective for you, then you're basically wasted money and then you let your competitor get an edge on you. So it's really important that you can focus always on the essential, always on what's going to make the biggest difference for your business. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to cybersecurity, the way cybersecurity makes the biggest difference for your business is by reducing your risk. Okay. okay, so so that's really, you want to be able to have the data about risk and focus your priorities on the highest risk. Okay, so how do you set, how do you find out which is the highest risk? So there is like three main pillars that we okay. find that all cybersecurity frameworks fall into uh, or can be distributed into. Uh, the, the three main pillars are on infrastructure, access, and the people. Okay. And some people will argue that people are your weakest link, and some people will argue that access is your weakest link, and some people will argue that it's infrastructure your weakest link. And it really depends on, depends on what yeah. really uh, is the most, um, uh, what, what is the area that you're in, because you know people have their own biases, you know, and, and typically the areas they know better, they, they feel that, that that's where <laughs> the, the biggest risk is. But uh, it, it, you don't need to decide. What you need to basically care for is all three areas. Uh, and some people divide it differently. They say people process technology. Okay. But when it comes to cybersecurity, we typically divide it in, in, uh, in, in those terms. So the, the terms are, again, the infrastructure, the access, and the people. And so on the people side, you need to make sure that people understand what data you handle in your company, understand how to handle data, how to handle the sensitive data. And, and again, on your data, you have to understand the risk. So what data is more risky and what data is less risky if it's mishandled. Mm -hmm. And uh, access is very important because you want to understand what, who has access to what data and how they access it. And then the infrastructure is where ultimately is it implemented. So when you're talking about a topic like PAM, for example, yeah. uh, privilege access management, it's very important both on the infrastructure side to implement that you can make it, that people cannot get around it, but also from an access perspective, okay, who has access to these privileged uh, accounts, etc. And then on the people side, teaching people, okay, you have privileged access, so how to think about it, how to make sure that you're not going to make a mistake or to minimize the mistakes. The infrastructure is here to catch you as much as possible in the mistakes, but it's better not to have to catch. It's kind of like when you're on a tightrope and you're, you're basically balancing yourself. If there is a net to catch you, that's great, but counting on the net to always catch you, it's not a good idea, okay? Yeah, that's not what you do. Falling is, is never a good feeling. Yeah. So ideally, what you want is the safety net and be able to walk on the tightrope without yeah. falling. Thank you for listening to the video. I really appreciate that you went all the way to the end. I would appreciate also if you click the subscribe button, hit the bell, because every week we will be publishing some interesting topics on cybersecurity, CASM, IAM, IGA, and enterprise topics.